Hello, Leander ISD. As we near the end of phase one of our in-person learning, I wanted to give you a brief update of where we are and how things are progressing. Learning has been going particularly well in phase one, and we look forward to welcoming more students back to campus in phase two. We've already had some positive cases of COVID reported, and we are trying to be as transparent as possible in our reporting of those to you. We really want you to continue to communicate clearly with us as we go forward so that we can together understand the situation that we find ourselves in. In order for us to continue to stay open and keep everybody safe, the protocols in our handbooks are exceptionally important for everybody to understand and follow. And I'll reduce those down just to four things today for simplicity's sake. Number one, it's important that you complete the screener before you come to school in the morning. The second thing is you must wear your mask at all times. It is critically important to your safety and the safety of those around you. We ask that you physically distance as much as possible and please wash your hands at every opportunity that you have. And when you don't have that opportunity, use hand sanitizer as much as possible. Even though we have students back in person, we still have many of our students in a virtual environment and their safety is very important to us. We acknowledge that we've had some issues with inappropriate incidents in our Zoom environment, and we really want to apologize for anybody who's been affected by those. In order to mitigate that, we are implementing some additional safety and security measures to keep our students and staff safe in this environment. The first thing that we're doing is individualizing Zoom accounts for students so that they'll have to log in with their credentials in order to access their Zoom classes. This will be enabled through single sign-on, which will make it easier for our students once they're set up. The second is that we're following the FBI protocols that have been put in place to make sure that we are doing everything in our power to keep our students and our staff safe. We've put health protocols in place for a reason, but they're only as powerful as how we use them. Together, we can create a safe environment for in-person learning, but we have to really put our minds to it. So thank you for your patience with us, and thank you for entrusting us with your most precious resource. Together, we are hashtag OneLISD.